Hey there, it's Chad along with Jay and Chris, and I want to give you some real gold nuggets in this video. I'm going to let you in on some secrets that we have working behind the scenes on some of our blogs. And this really is going to be like having an entire blog management team on your demand. And the best part is you really are going to do it with just a few clicks. So in the next couple minutes, I'm going to show you how to keep your blog evergreen and updated. We're going to show you how to maintain your SERP rankings and keep the search engine traffic steadily coming in. This is the ideal solution to maintain and run a PBN network automatically and without having to pay for those VAs. It's going to provide an extra opportunity for you to add calls to actions and generate more leads in the process. You're going to be adding relevant videos and images to reduce bounce rates. It's going to update the content without losing the originality of your blog post. And finally, it's going to increase the visitor value due to the time spent on site. And it's going to reduce the bounce rates at the same time. Now, let me show you why we created this solution. So here on my screen, this is a typical WordPress blog. And this is what a WordPress post looks like. We have a title tag. We have a lot of content. Maybe we have some H2 tags, some H3 tags. We have some internal linking going on with inside the post. We've got some relevant images and that's about it. This is what we see all too often inside of our WordPress post. Now, what Google wants to see is it wants to see fresh, engaging content. And that's also what your visitor wants to see. They want to see what's happening recently in the news and relevant videos and relevant images. So I'm going to show you how we bring in the most recent Google news and the hottest videos and even images that are related to your site automatically using our brand new plugin called Blogfresh Power 2.0. Now, before I demonstrate the blog fresh power 2.0, I want to go over some of the features so that you understand the power of this plugin. So we're going to bring in content from Google news, videos, and images, three types of content. Matter of fact, we can bring them all in at once. You're going to add not one, not two, but all the way up to three snippets of content, video, and images. It's going to update the blog post publish date to the new date, which really keeps your blog fresh. And you're going to be able to choose content, image, and videos in the order in which they should appear. And you're going to have the ability to enable and disable the blog fresh content on the home page. And finally, you're going to be able to view all of this in a log table where you can easily go in there and deactivate some of the features that you have executed. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and check out blog fresh power 2.0. Okay, so we're already logged into WordPress. Let's see if we can add some magic to our post here. So I'm gonna come over here to the back end of WordPress and you see where we have this blog fresh power plugin installed. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And now you see that we have two tabs up here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this plugin is very simple, very easy to use. And that's exactly what we want because we wanna be able to use this plugin each and every day every single time we create a post. And if it's complicated, we know that you're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go through some of these settings here and I'm gonna explain what each one does. But understand, it really doesn't get easier than this. But yet, it's still one of the most unique and quality plugins that you're gonna find for bringing in fresh, engaging content to your post. So if we start at the top here, you can see that we've got a section here that says, do you wanna update all posts older than? And then we're gonna go ahead and set a date. Right now, I have that date set for December 1st, 2014. And if we look over here, I'm able to choose a specific category. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and say traffic generation. And then I have two options here. I can either go and add this content at the end of a post, or I can put it at the beginning. For this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and say end of the post. Now, remember how I've been teasing you and I've been telling you that with the click of a mouse, you're gonna be able to add content, videos, and images? Well, here you go. I'm gonna click this here. I am now bringing in content and I can choose up to three snippets. I click this here and I can bring up to three videos. And I click this here and I can bring in up to three relevant images right into my posts. Now, by the way, something that's very important for you to know, 
all the images we use are public domain images, which means they are completely copyright free. There is no legal consequences with using our images. Okay, so I've got one snippet of content coming into the post, I've got three videos coming into the post, and I've got three public domain images also coming into the post. Now if at any point you forget what I'm showing you here, we have these little tool tips that'll guide you along the way. You just hover over those tool tips, they'll tell you exactly what's happening here. Now see where it says update blog post publish date? If I click this, what this is going to do is actually going to go and overwrite the existing blog publish date with the date that we run this update. Now, see where it says override update? If I click this, what this will do is this will stop the update from overriding an existing update. So, if I check this here, it's not going to replace the content on my page, but it will keep adding to it. So if we uncheck this, what this update's gonna do is it's going to overwrite the last update. Okay, so it's a very powerful concept and one that you'll catch on to very quickly. Now, Blogfresh Power is gonna go and it's gonna place links on your page when it does these updates. So if we want those links to open up in a new window, we're gonna go ahead and click this right here. Now, we can also go and add titles before the content we can add titles before the videos, and we can add titles before the image section. And since this content here is Google News, I'm gonna go ahead and make my title Related News. And then for the video section, we'll go ahead and put Related Videos. And then for the image section, we'll go ahead and put Related Images. And as soon as I click Update Posts, that's it. You're going to watch the magic happen. Now, I think it's important to tell you that what Blogfresh Power is doing, it is going and is scanning your post and is looking for existing keywords, your title tags, and it's looking at your metadata to find out exactly what your post is about. And that's how it's going to bring in related Google News videos and images. Now that was rather simple to do. That would probably take me about 15 seconds if I wasn't showing you how to do this. So now it's magic time. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click this blue button that says update post. And you see that it says it is fetching content and it is successful. Now if we come down to this bottom area, here is the log table I was telling you about. And if we look here, we have a timestamp of December 1st, 2014. And it says all posts older than December 1st, 2014 in the traffic generation category at the end of the post. Here it says number of posts affected, one, and the type of update, content, video, and image. Now if at any time I want to remove that update, I simply come over here and I click this link and that update is gone. Now if I come over here to our second tab, this one that says settings, I'm going to go ahead and click this. We've got some basic settings here for you. Now if you want to filter your video results, which I definitely suggest you do, you can go ahead and put in adult keywords, you can put in negative keywords, you can put in bad keywords, and that will filter your video results. If you don't want blog fresh power to show on the home page, then go ahead and check this. Now that's your personal preference. And then remember how I told you that you could actually display your content order? Well, if we pull this down, you have some options. Right now, I have it set to show content, image, and video. But as you can see, I could show image, content, and video. Again, that is a personal preference. Once you go ahead and put in your keywords and you decide if you want it to show on the home page or not, and you choose your content order, then you're simply going to come over here and you're going to click Save Changes. So now I'm going to come over here to post and I'm going to click on the post that's in traffic generation and we're going to go ahead and click view. Here is the post itself and remember all of our magic is happening at the end of the post. So we scroll down here. Here is the related news from Google and if we come down here even though these look like videos they're actually related images and then if we scroll down a little bit further we have our related videos. And now you see exactly how this works and you see how we are bringing in fresh, engaging content to our WordPress blogs.
So I encourage you to take a minute and check out the rest of the features and the benefits that are on this page that I was not able to cover in the video. And when you're ready, just go ahead and click the button down below this video and you will have instant access to Blog Fresh Power 2.0. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And on behalf of my partners, Jay and Chris, we really do wish you all the best.